Hi, I'd like to do something on Memorial Day. As a Native American, we believe that where you bury the dead is a sacred place. Traditional Native Americans do. And you're not supposed to really tread on that ground. Leave them alone. Don't go put pick living flowers and put them on a grave so they can die. That's kind of... I don't know how to explain it to you with my words. So um, just um, let me read what you're celebrating, okay? And and I, I almost find it, and, and maybe you will too, um, by the, you know, the veterans give you this red poppy. I'm not trying to disrespect any veteran. I believe if someone died in service and they were a loved one of yours, whether the war was a false flag or not, um, hold them in your heart every day. You you need no special day to, to you know, pay homage to that person. You, you love them every day. Um, but that little red poppy, let's get to that and um, what Decoration Day or Memorial Day means. Hold on. Okay, I, I'm not going to be able to put this all on the screen. So what I'm going to tell you is it, it, it started during the Civil War. Um, this is where the idea came from because women, the ladies of the South who were decorating graves of the Confederate dead, um, and I, I guess they would sing a song. But um, some say that was just kind of a spontaneous, spontaneous gathering of people to honor the war dead in 1860s. Memorial Day was officially proclaimed on May 5th. 1868 by General John Logan, National Commander of the Grand Army of the Republic, in his General Order Number 11, and was first observed on the 30th of May, 1868, when flowers were placed on the graves of the Union and Confederate soldiers at, Narling Ar at Arlington National Cemetery. <clears throat> the first state to officially recognize the holiday was New York in 1873. By 1890, it was recognized by all in the northern states. The South refused to acknowledge the day honoring the dead on separate days until after World War I, when the holiday changed from honoring just those who died fighting the Civil War to honoring Americans who died fighting in any war. It is now celebrated in almost every state on the last Monday in May, passed by Congress with National Holiday Act, of 1971 to ensure three-day weekends for federal holidays. Those seven southern states have an additional separate day for honoring the Confederate war dead. January 19th in Texas, April 26th in Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, May 10th in South Carolina, and June 3rd, uh, Jefferson Davis's birthday, and in Louisiana and Tennessee. Now, in 1915, there was a poem wrote in Flanders Field, and here's what it says. You know those little red poppies you get? We cherish, too, the poppy red that grows on fields where valor led. It seems to signal to the skies the blood of heroes never dies. Now, I, I myself don't like any kind of blood reference or, um, I don't, I, I just don't. It, it just seems twisted to me. Um, she can. She then conceived of an idea to wear the red poppies on Memorial Day in honor of those who died serving the nation during war. Well, there's been many wars um, upon in in you know here in America, and I will tell you that Native Americans do not celebrate this day. We do not wear red poppies signifying blood, and uh, I'm going to leave you this just so you know. Now, I, I had, like I said, um, my brother was in Vietnam, and uh, about 15 years ago, he committed suicide. And my next-door neighbor, um, I thought about doing something on him. Uh, he was um, in Special Forces and was in Laos. He, his uh, missing in action actually went into a, um, to the, Congre he went in the, the families of these, Missing men in Laos went to congressional hearings. I think they were closed-door hearings to try to get them to um, 
you know, tell the true story because we were worrying miss, missing in actions. First they said he was dead, then it was missing in action. Um, and, and I know the whole story now, but um, I might do that later. But uh, so, you, you know, it's really hard to get to the truth. I mean, they said he died in 1968. This was to be my neighbor. But I think it was 1990 before they buried some remains they found that were like two inches long and none of them could really be identified. And it's in Ar Arlington National Cemetery. But I just wanted you to know that Decoration Day or Memorial Day, what it was for and what it stood for. Um, so pretty much there you go. I hope everybody has a nice day. Peace and love and um, enjoy your holiday or your day off.